Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see one to many relationship using the document references. In the previous video, we have seen one to many relationship subset pattern and also the embed document pattern also we have seen it. Now we will try to see when which scenarios we need to use the document references. I have already shown you for the person and the address. Uh, keeping in a separate uh, separate document for the address that one I have but in which scenarios we need to use it so now so consider this following example let's say that we have a book okay and we have a publisher let's say so I'm not doing the practical implementation just I'm trying to show you same thing in setting and all those things we so this example will give you a correct uh, uh, scenario and also the advantage of referencing over embedding embedding to avoid repetition of this publisher i'll try to show you so for example let's say that here we are having a something like a book let's say the book details we are having is title one will be having a book and we have an app we can Now let's try to see the author and if you want you can add the pages how many also if you want you can these are all the different types you may be having for a book and we need to know the publisher 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 details will be in such a way that of the publisher that are only founded California. So this is the publisher details. Now let's say that I am having an another book. Now if we are having an another book, let's say that we are having title, title book, and the same thing we will be having an other is there. That is a page language. And now the publisher, the same publisher. I am the one. Now here I copy this publisher. Because for this book also the publisher is now this is the how the book collection will be. One book document, also another book document. So here embedding the publisher document. So embedding this publisher document inside the book document, inside this book document. Would lead to the repetition of this publisher data. If you try to see here, would lead to the repetition of this publisher. Right now, the publisher data we have repeated multiple times. Tomorrow, if you are having uh, many books, so it will be it will be something like repetition only. To avoid this repetition of this publisher, data, we can use the references and keep the publisher information in a separate collection from the book collection. So, in order to avoid this type, you can create a separate publisher collection and in this publisher collection so you can have okay, something like publisher so you i can pay so we can have the publisher i can read so i can read so when using references the growth of the relationships the relationship determine where to store the reference now we need to understand whether i need to store this publisher id this book or whether i need to store the book in this publisher so now you need to understand that a book okay, a publisher can have many books a book belongs to a publisher so a book cannot have many publishers a book has only one publisher but a publisher can have many books this is the concept so when using references so where to store the data if the number of books per publisher is small with limited growth for example if you, if this publisher has a number or num the number of books the what the publisher has printed is of limited storing the book references inside the publisher document may sometimes be useful that means i can store something like books 
and I can use reference ID something like one uh, ID one ID two ID three something like this I can store. So this is sometimes very sometimes will be useful. Otherwise, if the number of books per publisher is unbounded, so that means if the number of books for this publisher is unlimited, so this array will be going on increasing. This data model will lead to multiple growing arrays. So like this, it go on increasing like. This. Okay. On increasing stop using like this so we can refer uh, we can refer this one so what i can do is <coughs> stop using like this what i can do i can remove this book and i can have i can add a publisher id like this publisher id so one we are having another publisher ID and i can do publish so like this you can maintain it okay this is how this is how we can save it so now this one also avoids the mutable growing arrays by storing this publisher reference inside this book document so we can avoid the mutable mut mutable arrays also now we are having previous we are having book we can avoid this one so this is how we can maintain depending on the scenarios and circumstances how we need to store this one whether we need to get a reference or whether we need pattern or other we need a document depends on the scenario now this one i hope that this is the best example where we need reference model. because we cannot maintain a data public of that one we can have a public so that this publisher reference id we can whatever the or other vice versa so we are having limited with this depending on the requirement you can make a book array and you can store the array this is uh, so this is another way you can have publisher id inside this is all about this one hope you understood about this yep. all uh, what i can say one to many relation using this one to many relationship in the as a reference how we have seen the three types we have seen in the one to many relation one to many relationship in the embed documents that is nothing but book and the address so know that address sorry person and the address know that for a person we have a limited number of addresses so we can maintain that one and another one what i can say is comments blog comments post comments and also this one what i can say product reviews so these are all comes in the subset pattern so if you want to save the recent 10 you can save it and the last one is the reference thing so reference thing is also the scenario which you need to think which pattern will be best suitable whether i need to use a document or whether i need to use pattern or whether i need to use the reference document but the publisher details and all those things so i need to save it in a separate file so separate uh, collection so you need to think and you need to plan according to that all the ways are one and the same correct only but depends on the requirements and how you are getting uh, from the back end so from the programming language is important so li like that you need to structure that so this is all about this one to many relationship in the next video. Hope you understood about this one. Have any doubts or any suggestions? Please post the comments below. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.